As a piece of city furniture, the smart car is as common as buses, tramps and pigeons, and for good reason. You can park it in the slimmest of spaces and nip through the narrowest of gaps without losing a door mirror. But these days, city folk want something really green as well as tiny. So Smart has come up with this, the MHD, Micro Hybrid Drive. Despite its name, though, it is not actually a hybrid, like the Toyota Prius is, with its electric engine working alongside its petrol motor. Nope, this badly named Smart gains its green credentials by automatically turning itself off and on in traffic, saving fuel in the process which in the city it does by roughly 10% over the old smart. In these money-conscious times, you'll be pleased to hear that the urban MPG has improved from 57 to 64 and its CO2 emissions are better as well. Today's test will be in its natural town habitat and will be on an appropriately chic and green mission, being a courier for a fancy flower shop. I know that you do uh, flowers for many celebrities, so I reckon I could just go straight in there and uh, deliver a celebrity bouquet. Can I? No. <laughs> no, I'll give you another one to do, and then we'll see how you go. All right, then. If you do it on time, then I might give you a celebrity one to do later. All right, then. Cool. <laughs> My first job. Some lilies. Uh, 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 I don't think so. I have an idea. The 220 litre boot is pretty useless for anything other than a bunch of pansies, but luckily the roof peels back for my extravagant bouquet. Absolutely perfect. So as a trial run, I've got just 20 minutes to get the flowers to a local address less than a mile away, but in one piece. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I think stability is not this car's strong point. The smart may not be quite as agile as a bicycle courier in dense city traffic, but even so, I make it to my first drop-off with five minutes to spare. There you are. <laughs> That's OK. For the rest of the day, I'll be Vicky Bouquet Henderson, or just plain Flora, or Rose, or Lily, or Daisy. Once the engine's warmed up, the MHD is ready to show off its party trick. So the stop-start works like this. Put my foot onto the brakes, slow to five miles an hour and below, and the engine turns itself off. Silence. And then as soon as I take my foot off the brake, the engine ignites again, put my foot on the throttle, and away we go. The smart system works really well, and you almost instantly get used to it and pretty much forget about it. I really like it. But what I don't like about this car is the gear change on the automatic box. It is just unacceptably jerky, but it always has been. The Smart and I have clearly impressed the boss because at last we've got the big one. We're off to the Theatre Royal on Drury Lane for a delivery to Jennifer Saunders and Dawn French. It's absolutely fabulous, darling. That's provided I make it in time. Ultimate speed is at one of the Smart's strong points, needing 13.3 seconds to get to 62. Hello, Jennifer, Dawn. I'm a flower girl. It's now 1.45 p.m. The Theatre Royal's five miles away and I've got to get there by three o'clock. We're getting closer. The three-cylinder 71 BHP engine is adequately brisk to 30 miles an hour, though. Oh, zebra crossing, zebra crossing. Come along, chop, 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 chop. With minutes to go, I arrive and <laughs> dash in to find French and Saunders. I presume they're chocolates for Ms. French. Hi there. Um, I've got a delivery for Dawn French and Jennifer Saunders, so can I see them, please? Right, you're quite early, actually. They won't be in until about 7 o'clock, maybe. Um, oh. You could leave them at the stage door. How disappointing. I'd fought my way through London traffic to get here. This wasn't the showbiz glamour I'd hoped for. Ah, so much for my brush with fame. However, had I have met them, I would have told French and Saunders that the smart MHD is a breath of fresh air for city trips. Its stop-start system works really well and it will be enthusiastically received by the Green Fingers Brigade. However, at £10,650, it is a big price for a small car and you are really going to have to want one to turn your back on four-seater alternatives which are even more frugal. 
I'm definitely with Vicky on that one. I'd much rather have a diesel Mini Cooper or a car like that. 